So here's today's lovely access through the woods to the spillway of a retention pond that we have to repair. It's right behind the house. We got to go beside the house, across the driveway, and out to the road to get rock. This was the only access point to be able to get to this job. So I've got to clear a path, load the brush out, and then we got to bring in about 25 tons of rock and regrade the spillway. So once I get down there, I'll show you the project for today. So I got my path cut through the woods. Here is the problem area. The rock was not installed properly and all the rock is down there at the end of the hill now. So I'm gonna come in here, limb these trees up, pull all this rock out, regrade everything, and then even the fabrics run the wrong way. I'm gonna run the fabric long ways, but they got like six foot pieces and we got a 12 foot piece. So there's a seam running right down the center of the channel and that just allows water to get up under it and wash it out. So I'm gonna, we're gonna start it from right here and refix everything. I'm gonna get in here and trim these trees up real quick and then uh, clean everything up, pull the rock out, regrade the ditch, new fabric, and more rock. So we got the path cleared and come down here and got all the tree branches limbed up and I started moving a little bit of rock. I got all that rock scraped up and piled up up here out of the way and now I'm going to go down here at the bottom and start uh, cleaning up all that rock, piling it up the hill, kind of redigging the channel and then we'll put our rock back with new rock and I'm just going to recreate the channel and we're going to put our T-post and wire in there to keep the rock place so now we got the first section in got my t-post and wire across there and our fabric we're going to do like 20 some foot sections at the time i'm going to take all that rock and scoop it up and throw it down the hill and then uh, i'll work that section and we'll just keep working our way up the hill
moving on up the hill now I've used up all the rock that I was able to salvage so I got the channel graded we're bringing the new rock that's the sound of new rock dumping into the skid steer bucket so he's gonna bring that down here down the hill and come over my little uh, wire rock holder and dump it in here I'm gonna start spreading it in there but it's turning out nice it's gonna serve the purpose that it needs to as far as holding all the rock in place that's some big rock it shouldn't now that it's kind of all I don't think it was ever installed right if you don't sit there and kind of pat it down and interlock it it'll it'll tumble back down the hill in a rain so I think between these measures right here and it's not that slick fabric it should uh, should stay in here a lot better I'll let him come down here and dump it in here and see how well it works be a little tricky coming down that uh, little slope right there. It is a goat path we had to make to get down here. About on the home stretch now. Finished dumping today's uh, dump truck load of rock, and we'll put another uh, wire netting across right there to hold that in place, and pretty much dress everything up. In the morning, we'll have to come back. We don't have quite enough rock. Bring a little bit more back in the morning. I'll drag that over and top dress it with some new rock, and we'll be out of here. All done. Got all the new rock put in here. Safety caps on our T-post. The spillway is now completely repaired back. Put a little matting right down here on the slope to hold this. But I went in there and dug it out. There wasn't much of a channel, so the water was actually piling all up piling it piled the rock up and then it was going through the woods over there so now I've got a defined creek channel or ditch channel for the water to come and then it'll go down here here's the pipe for the pond right here and it'll just discharge out into the creek That should work well.